So one of my most popular uh, characters or videos was the Roadrunner and Coyote. So I want to start with those and we're going to learn some uh, new characters. We need a pale blue with about uh, two fingers uninflated. We need two orange balloons with about two fingers uninflated. We need a dark blue with about three or three and a half fingers, four fingers uninflated. Uh, we're going to make a little more twist in this dark blue balloon. And a scrap of a white. Don't need much of this at all. So we're going to start out with the dark blue. And on the knot end, we're going to make a uh, four finger bubble. Then a one inch pinch twist. Then we're going to make another four finger bubble. Then a uh, two, three finger bubble. And then a one inch bubble. So we have this. We have a four finger bubble, a pinch twist, three or four finger bubble, two finger bubble, and a one inch bubble. We're going to take this last bubble here and twist it into this pinch twist here. Now we're going to take another four inch or four finger bubble, the same size as this one, and we're going to lock twist it and push the nut through. Then we're going to make another small pinch twist. And then we're going to break the rest of this off, but we want to save the rest. We're going to use some more of it. So we have this. And we have our scrap here. We want to let a little air out to have some room here to tie it. And tie it off. And we're going to put this aside and use it later. Now we take our scrap white and we wrap it into the pinch twist right here. Then we're going to come up uh, with a four finger bubble, tie it around this pinch twist. Then we're going to come back down with another four, inch, four finger bow and wrap it around this pinch twist. That's all we need of the white. We're going to break off the rest. And then we can take these um, two end pieces of the white and tie them together. And this long bubble here goes in the front where these uh, white bubbles are. Pinch twist in the front, and these other bubbles are in the back. Then we take uh, one of our orange balloons. So make a small follow pedal, we push the knot through. We make up make another small pedal the same size. Now we're going to make a large flower pedal, soften the balloon a bit, and make a um, about a hand's length. Then we're going to take these two flower petals and wrap them around this pinch twist at the bottom. So we put the pinch twist in the back here. Our long uh, 
flower petal in the front and these two small petals on each side of the white. And we're going to break off the rest of this orange. And then we can just wrap, wrap the rest of it inside. So good. Then we take this large flower petal on the front and we put it straight out and take and shape it up a little bit. This will give us our uh, head of our Roadrunner. It's uh, very recognizable. Um, uh, people really like this design. So then we're going to put that aside. We're going to take our pale blue. And we're going to start with about a, about a 10 finger bubble. And twist it here. And then we're going to make a small pinch twist. Then we're going to make about a, a six finger bubble, another small pinch twist. Then we're going to make another um, another six finger bubble, the same size as this one. Wrap it around our pinch twist there. Then we're going to come back with two three finger bubbles, about the half half size of these bubbles. And then we twist that into this pinch twist. We can put these two half bubbles on the bottom and these two long bubbles on the top. We're gonna take uh, this tail and about the same size as this front bubble, we're gonna bend it and squeeze it and shape it. So we have this tail going out like that. It's gonna be the body of our Roadrunner. We're gonna take this knot and we're gonna wrap it around the head of our Roadrunner. We're going to take our uh, scrap of blue that we uh, had from the uh, from the head, and we're going to wrap it into one of these pinch twists. Actually, we want to wrap it into the uh, front pinch tw pinch twist because we want to end up with a bubble in the front. Now we're going to take the rest of this and squeeze it, make it soft. And we're going to split it in half, so we're going to put end to end, find the middle, and twist the bubble there. And we're going to twist that into the back pinch twist. Then we're going to make a small bubble on the end, very tiny bubble. And we're going to wrap it into the front here. So we're going to end up with a blue bub a pale blue bubble and a dark blue bubble in the front. So we take these two dark bu dark bubbles and we put them at the top. We can shape them a little bit. Put our tail going straight back. Our head, you can have it going to the side a little bit. Then we're going to put this aside. And we take our other orange balloon and we're going to start with a three or four finger bubble. Then a one inch bubble. Then we're going to make another three or four finger bubble the same size as this one. Lock twist them together, pull the knot through. Then we're going to make a one inch bubble, pinch twist it. So squeeze the balloon, make it soft.
the nipple in, we're going to take and make a, a small bubble. Then we're going to make a uh, three finger bubble. Another small one inch bubble. Then another three finger bubble. Twist those together and push the small first bubble we made in, into there. So we take these uh, two feet and almost in the center we want to twist these two leaving one a little bit longer. On the longer side we want to make a small bubble and pinch twist it. Then we want to take that pinch twist and we're going to put tie it into our uh, two smaller bubbles on the bottom of our uh, bird. Then we put the pinch twist on the top here and we face the front claw and the pointing forward the back claw going forward and this this makes the road runner look like it's running with this v-shape so we're just going to draw some eyes on the front and it's basically just a, a couple of small uh, circles So there we have our Roadrunner design, and like I said, this is a recognizable character. Uh, people really like it because you can really see what it's supposed to be. So that's it for today. Thank you for tuning in. Join us next week where we have another video. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, you can click up here, uh, comment, and like the video. Um, if you comment, I'll get back to you, uh, and we really appreciate your comments.